10 days worth of subs. Oh my god, I nearly dropped it. My protein pill box. Boom. Don't knock it till you try it. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. We're starting off today's video with 10 days worth of vitamin supplements. Okay, we have glucosamine, fish oils, daily multivitamin, zinc, vitamin D3 and brand new vitamin C plus all from my protein. I added in the vitamin C because they sent it to me and I figured, why the hell not? Are they essential? No, absolutely not. But can they help? Absolutely. So don't knock it till you try it. Feel free. Links in the description box. Code LSJ. Send it over. I do a giveaway every single month. You guys already know this. It's going to be a good video today, guys. I hope you're all well. Drop it a like. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. And let's get it started. Really quite nice, that, isn't that? Yeah, I much prefer the plain one to the... I don't much prefer it. I like watermelon, yeah, but yeah. I, th I honestly think I have positive memories associated with the blue one with the original. And so I, that's why I prefer that one. But this... Just means I don't have to share these ones. These ones are all for me. So, as you guys know, I have my shelf up here. I have all of my snacks, I have my vitamins, which I store. The ones that you saw me uh, restock at the start of the video, they get all stored in here, all the little boxes, um, all the little tubs, sorry. I just need somewhere to keep them so that they're all in one place. I have my snacks, pre-workouts and all this kind of stuff. And of course, my favorite, Clearway. Whoa, oh my God, oh my God. Clear, vegan, protein, there we go. Now, are any of these essential as I said at the start of the video no well, I mean obviously for some people in some cases some of them might be essential but for me personally no they're, they're not but I'm in a position where I'm able to take them and so I will because it's going to make a little bit of a difference I'll go by the logic of if it's available to you you can afford it and it's gonna make 0.05% or whatever 1% 5% 9% obviously completely made up numbers but if it's gonna make a little bit of difference is the point I'm trying to make and you can afford to take said supplement, then why not? But having said that, is everything worth your money? You gotta bear in mind I work for my protein people. The answer to that in plain and simple English is no. Is every single supplement worth your money? Chances are no. Do you need every single supplement? Chances are no, but can they help you? Chances are yes. Now I've made a video like this a few times, right? And what I always say is make a list, a list of priorities specific to yourself. Whether you need a coach to kind of advise you on that or a friend that's kind of just in the know a little bit more, make a list of what is going to be prioritizing for yourself, right? Depending upon your routine, depending upon what you enjoy taking, whether it's just 
habit for you, all of these kinds of things should sort of, should sort of be taken into account when you are deciding what's going to be at the top and what's going to be at the bottom of your list. What you will have if it's your birthday and you buy something because you've got a little bit of extra money or you want on a friggin' scratch card or something, or what's going to be at the top of the list and you will get regardless every single month because it's kind of like your staple. Everyone will have different things, different vitamins, different supplements, pre-workouts, whatever it may be, in different places on these lists. So what I always try and preach, if you like, is not to rely on said supplements. I know I take a lot, but that's because I work with my protein. Honestly, if I didn't, I probably wouldn't take as much. I just probably wouldn't because it wouldn't be as available to me as I said a minute ago. But regardless of that, let's focus on the list, the list that you guys should have for yourselves, right? This isn't necessarily going to be my top subs or whatever, what, what my kind of list would be. I mean, it will be when it comes to the top. I'm not gonna filter down every single supplement because you know, that's just boring. More so focusing on you guys figuring out what should be at the top of your list and how you can kind of figure that out. What's gonna be your staple? For me personally, it's protein. Everybody needs protein. Everybody sometimes struggles on a daily to get their protein intake in. Mine is close to 200 grams of protein, right? I only have two and a half thousand, I have less than two and a half thousand calories. From that, I've got to find like 190 grams of protein. That's like 750 calories or something, something like that. Straight from protein, just protein. That is hard at times, people. Finding that much protein in your diet on a daily basis while trying to manage everything else can be hard. So for me, on that basis, protein would go at the top of the list because it can help you. It can supplement your training. It can supplement your diet. And that is one thing that you should always remember. These are supplements. They are not your diet. They supplement your diet. Okay. You have a daily subs, don't you? You have a daily supplement, don't you? Jessie Pop has epilepsy, and so she has to have a uh, a daily vitamin, if you like. I forget what it's actually called, but I know the amounts and all of that that she has to have on a daily to pretty much stop her having as many uh, episodes. That would go under the essential category, <laughs> whereas you uh, fancying a BCA mid workout, not so much. So if you compare my need for Whoa, dude. <laughs> my need for a full Excite can. Um, no, if you compare my need for glucosamine, let's say, in comparison to Jessie's need for her medication, she needs that to survive. I don't need glucosamine to survive. However, glucosamine, I feel personally, has definitely benefit benefited me, um, joints-wise and all this kind of stuff, in combination with the fish oils and all that kind of stuff. But do I need that? N no, not really. She needs that, if, if that makes... That, that Hers sense, is medical, right? yours isn't. Yeah, pretty pretty much. My, mine is just like, this might help you me a little bit. You take something because you want to, to yeah. see how it impacts you. She needs it to Ish. survive. Yeah, hers is from the pharmacy, yours is offline. And there's no <laughs> discount code for hers. There's no discount code for Jessie's medication. There is if you buy it offline. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, like, you can't use LSJ at checkout. Like, no. you can on my protein. Oh, did I mention that? I have a code for, like, this, this video is about supplements. I have a code for my protein. And a you link. Can, you can use the link in the description box down below. And uh, the code LSJ at checkout. Sorry, there was some buzz. It was interesting. What's your right. favourite? My favourite? Yeah. I've been through this, right? Protein at the top. I've said, pretty much, I've said, everyone's going to have a list, their own list of, of what's essential and what's not, and what mm -hmm. like, everyone should base their, their money on what's at the top and what's at the bottom of their list. Protein will probably be at the top of mine. Um, next, I'd probably put something like pre workout. There's people screaming at their screens right now going, Liam. Pre-workout pre -workout is second on your list. What are you talking about? Pre-workout is not essential. No, I would agree. However, it is something that I enjoy taking. I enjoy the process, if you like. I enjoy the, the routine of either doming it before or mixing it up, shaking it, getting into the zone, saying, I'm going to train in 20 minutes' time, and it's going to be good. I'm going to be doing this exercise, this exercise, this exercise. It's kind of my my visual visualization. Is that the right? Visualization? That's the right word, isn't it? Um, of what's gonna come of my session ahead. And that is helpful for me, so it would be second on mine. But would it be second on yours? No, I mean, you could probably just take a black coffee. It would coffee, be bottom of mine. It, exactly, yeah. You don't like the uh, tingles, do you? Charlotte doesn't like beta alanine, and plenty of other people mm. don't as well. Um, Makes me itch. Did you know, that's actually a side effect. It's not meant to make you really? itch. It's because beta alanine is for endurance, right? Go lie down, Jess, I'm trying to vlog. Lie down. Not playtime now, it's playtime in a minute. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Beta alanine um, 
it gives you extra endurance and all this kind of stuff. Um, but a side effect, a technical side effect of the problem that some people don't know how to get rid of. Mm. They've now just kept it because some people like it. I absolutely hate it's, it. I, I know you ha- I it love it me, It makes I, me want to go and lie on the bed and like, itch myself. My, <laughs> like that Wobbs video, my face, I was just like, what the hell is happening to yeah. me? My face is bright red. It's making me pant, you know? Look at my face. <laughs> Look at my fucking face. I think this might be how it ends. Are you itchy? Uh, yeah, 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 a little bit. What is next on your list that you want to try? I've got those HMB pills that I've not taken yet. Are they the ones I've got? No, 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 no. Yeah. Um, it's, long story short, it's like a preserve muscle while in a deficit kind of thing. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. And I just haven't, I haven't started taking them yet. I forgot. I would like to try that next. Again, is that essential? No, that's probably like bottom of the list essential, yeah. but I've got it, so I want to try it. Nice one. Thanks a lot. Oh, exciting. <laughs> so... Am I uh, am I an expert? I mean, no. I have all my qualifications. I'm actually a PT. I just don't scream from the rooftops like everyone else. It's a massive problem with the industry, babe. If you don't call, you know, getting a bit tired in the gym, muscular fatigue, then you don't know what you're talking about. But we shan't go into that because I've actually decided I can make a, a full um, a full video about that might be interesting to some. What it will come down to, what it should come down to, is you. Literally, you. What is your preference? What is your lifestyle like? What is your training schedule like? What is your diet like? Everything like that. Everything will come down to you. So whatever I take might not necessarily be the best thing for you. However, they are fairly standard things, you know, protein, (laughs) pre-workout, multivitamin. So two or three things you could put it down to. Are you the kind of person that struggles to get in your protein intake while keeping your calories down, keeping the macros down, all that kind of stuff? Protein. Are you the kind of person that likes to have caffeine before your workout, but you don't think coffee is quite enough? Pre-workout. And of course, arguably one of the more important ones, in, in my opinion, especially when dieting, do you have a sweet tooth, like myself? Protein snacks. I tend to reach for things like this. If I'm fancying a Kit Kat, if I'm fancying a Twix, a friggin' whatever, anything, anything chocolatey, how often do I reach for these? There's also these ones here, which I haven't actually shown a taste test of. They're pretty small, right? I'm not gonna lie to you, these Kit Kat bars, they're called break bars, but they taste just like a Kit Kat, but they're pretty small. 0.9 grams of sugar. If you like Kit Kats and are not wanting the higher calorie protein options, something like a break bar is actually really good because it's pretty much just a Kit Kat. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Kit Kat with better macros is pretty much what they are. But you have to kind of take a step back and think, what is top of the list for myself? For me, protein, pre-workout, and I, I would say everyone, majority of people should be taking a multivitamin anyway. Um, and the majority of people would probably agree with those top three things, but what you gotta do is just decide what's essential for you and, and what's not really. It's as simple as that. Um, and it's only a decision that either you or your coach or whatever, whoever it may be, um, can make. These, what's in this box that we've just received? Not essential, not at all but my God, you're gonna want them, and my God, you're gonna enjoy them. I can't actually show you what it is, I can't show you what they are, um, or anything like that. I'm not allowed to, my protein will kill me. Even I'm excited about it. Yeah, you are actually. And I don't I take anything that's on that shelf, the, apart from CBD oil. There's a few, yeah, yeah, there's a few things in here, like a few different things. I'm thinking, I'm just thinking out loud here in my head, okay. whether we're gonna film this over the next few days, or wait a few days and then film it all in one go and it'll make sense when you guys see what's in this box. But it's good, it's exciting, and um, yeah, it's, it's just good, especially if you're from the UK. So, with that said everybody, I suppose that will round off today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please, if you do pick anything up, send it over to me on Instagram because every single month I do a My Protein giveaway. If you send over your screenshot, just show that you've used the code LSJ and all that kind of stuff, send it over to me on Instagram. I have a big fat list on my phone. Every month I go on a random name, kind of picker, generator thing and just pick, copy and paste the names. When I get my monthly kind of box from My Protein, I do it in that haul video. So once a month I do a haul video, that is where the winner is announced. So if you do ever have an entry, that is where you can look out for it. Of course, do not forget the weekly kind of competitions. Tomorrow's video will announce, or Wednesdays, tomorrow's or Wednesdays, will announce um, the winner of the squat challenge. Alongside that, the next challenge for the next week. So, stay tuned for those. I hope you have enjoyed today's video, guys. If you have, please do me a massive favor. One second, two second, drop a like, 
costs you nothing, really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Together, we will grow. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Say bye, babe. Bye, babe. <laughs>